Smart Rings, your girl's here to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I've had mine for about a year and a half now, so I feel like I can really give you an honest, transparent review. This is not sponsored. I am not affiliated with any of the brands that I'm going to talk about. This is just your girl giving you an honest review. I think we've seen so many people everywhere online wearing Aura Rings, and I will say, Smart Rings have come out and become a lot more popular in the last couple of years versus watches. If we're just talking about smart rings to smart watches, 110% go with the ring. It tracks all of your health data, but it does not give you any notifications. There's no lights, there's no vibrating, there's no dinging. It's peaceful, it's bliss. I ordered my Aura Ring initially because of a partnership that they did with Natural Cycles, and that's the birth control app that I use. So it automatically takes your temperature in the morning and then syncs to that app. So that was kind of the biggest driving factor for me to order it. But in wearing it, I really loved all of the data that it gave me around my sleep, around my steps, my heart rate, workouts, everything kind of under the sun. And the one really nice thing that I like about rings versus watches is because there is no display or anything like that, you're only charging this like once a week. When I first got it, I was only charging it once a week. <laughs> Let's get into the specifics. This is what I paid for it. When I ordered my ring, I was living in Canada. So one thing I will say to Canadians is when you order your ring, you will pay duty on it. It is not my favorite. When I got my ring, I wanna say I paid like an extra $60 in duty when it arrived to me, which I didn't love. It is always nice when you're ordering from companies if they can let you know if you're gonna have duty on an order, things like that. It's just nice to know those things. The other thing with the Aura app versus some of the other smart rings on the market is that when you order your Aura ring, you do need the app to go with it. And the app is a paid app. So I want to say the app is $6.99 a month US, which comes up to about $10 a month Canadian. So just be mindful of that, that there is a paid app that goes along with the ring. So you have the cost of the ring plus the cost of the app throughout the year. Now, things that I loved, you wear it all the time. You don't have to take it off to shower, wash your hands, anything like that. I love that. It is quite small, which I really liked. It was comfortable to wear. I always wore it on my index finger. Loved that. You're not charging it a ton. It was really once a week when I first got it. About six months later, it was kind of once every five days. The last couple months, it was kind of every three to four days. And I've had mine for about a year and a half. So I will say your battery life does really start to decrease the longer you've had it. The things that I don't love about Aura, I ordered a gold ring, but you pay extra for that. And I didn't love that, especially because it really didn't hold up. And I did email them about it and I just never heard back, which I loved even less. Quick update on this. So I did reach out to them one more time just to give them kind of a fair shot. Maybe they didn't get the email the first time. This is what they responded with here. So they just let me know that they don't warranty any physical damage, the ring, including scratches or discoloration. And then they had let me know that I should be wearing it on my non-dominant hand, which I was on my index finger and it wasn't next or adjacent to any fingers that had rings on it. I never wore rings on my middle finger. And then one thing I did find interesting in this email though, is they did say not to lift weights in it, which seemed strange to me because it is a smart ring and it's supposed to track your heart rate, your workouts, everything like that. Strength training is an option in their app to track. So it seemed really odd to me that you wouldn't be able to wear your ring while you're working out. I can't find my charger. So when I went to go order a new one, I think the chargers are 80 US. And then I looked at other rings and you, you can order other rings for between like two and 300 that have all the same features that have free apps. So all of the competitor rings all come with free apps versus Aura's app is the only app for smart rings that's a paid app. And that was the biggest thing for me that I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try another ring because this hasn't held up very well. The battery life on it is really going. I don't think this specific ring is going to last that much longer and it just really hasn't worn well. It's entirely scratched on the back. So it's silver now and then just like the little top piece now is gold. So it didn't hold up the best, which I didn't love. I do wear it all the time and I lift with it. I wear it to the gym. I do believe they recommend that you don't lift weights in it, which seemed odd to me because it tracks your health data while you're working out. So it can't track your health data if you're not wearing it at the gym while you're lifting weights. That didn't make sense to me. Anyway because they charge a premium for it to be a color, I assumed that there would be some sort of protective coating over the color because you were paying extra for it and that it would help with the wearability of it. And unfortunately it didn't. 
all of the other competitors. So I've looked at the Eevee rings and the Rincon, and I believe there's some other ones as well. All of their rings come in multiple colors and they're the same price point for all the colors, which is really nice. They both also come with free apps and they track all of the same health metrics. So comparatively, the rings are more affordable, no paid apps with them, and then no price increase for whatever color you want, because I think people should get whatever color they want. Definitely was kind of the biggest deciding factor for me and not ordering, just ordering another charger for it and going to a different brand. I'm still kind of debating which one I want to go with. I think I'm gonna end up going with the EV ring. And part of the reason I'm gonna go with the EV ring is because the Aura ring actually really scarred my finger. So you can see bumps in the ring and they push into your finger here and that's how they track all of your health data which I entirely understand. The only issue with that is it did end up trapping water underneath when you're washing your hands, putting lotion on, things like that throughout the day, and it has scarred my finger quite a bit. So I'm wearing some other rings on this finger just to cover it up right now, but you can kind of see it's still quite scarred. I've been putting bio oil on it and just trying to help with that, but it is just something to be mindful of. They recommend that you wear your ring either on your index finger or your middle finger, I found this ring to be a little too bulky to go on my middle finger. I didn't love the feeling of that. Whereas your index finger, I found it quite comfortable and I didn't really notice it ever. But the nice thing that I like about the Eevee ring is it has that split in it. So that's kind of what has me leaning towards that. With that being said though, if you've worn any of the wearable smart rings, any of the kind of other options on the market, let me know what you think and let me know which ones you liked down below. This is just my aura my honest aura ring review and I did like the aura ring I just I liked the concept I would say I didn't love the company experience though just in the way their pricing tiers work with the customer service and the actual quality and wear of the product I didn't love those pieces with that being said if they didn't like if I didn't pay additional for it to be the color that it was I probably wouldn't have minded it probably wouldn't have bugged me so much I just think because it didn't wear well and I paid extra for that that's kind of what bothered me there and then the paid app piece the other competitors having free apps just that's such a huge competitive edge over Aura because that's kind of my honest honest review of the Aura ring so loved the concept love the wearable technology love rings versus watches but personally wouldn't probably order another one but that's just my personal experience that's it that's all